Daisha Mitchell, Lakuchi Boys and Girls Club Prodigy Site Manager. What I found about running Prodigy this year, obviously COVID presented a lot of challenges everywhere, but what we have proven time and time again here at Lakuchi is that these children are resilient. What we've been able to do with the program this year, both through outreach, through our in-house programming, and throughout the Boys and Girls Club, is really take what could have been a situation that was really limiting. You know, we didn't have as many kids in the club. We had to socially, you know, keep distance. We had to wear masks. All of these things that could be perceived as hurdles, but really took our program to another level. We've introduced a ton of new programming. Um, a lot of that is digital based because we don't just want the kids to develop their personal, social, and emotional skills, but we want to give them some practical skills that they'll be able to take from this program and apply later in life. We've done lighting design that uses graphic design components on some Macs. We've introduced classical music. We brought violin back into the club and we were able to take our violin classes through an outreach and do that online and reach children that needed this program that didn't even know that they needed it and otherwise likely would not have had the opportunities to participate in Prodigy this year. Obviously COVID limited our in-house numbers and in some cases maybe that would have hampered our overall growth of the program for this grant year but we have actually exponentially um, increased our programming numbers. We've not only reached every youth that comes through the doors of Lakuchi and really maximized our opportunities with those kids, but we've also reached a number of homeschool students that were perfect fits for what Prodigy is all about. We've done outreach at some other local schools in Pasco County, including Chasco Middle School, where we did a virtual arts program for all of the youth that participate in the Boys and Girls Club out at Chasco. We've also partnered with a number of other Boys and Girls Clubs throughout Hillsborough County and have made small grab-and-go activities, some in-house art opportunities available to those youth as well. So we've been able to share the Prodigy experience where in past years, you know, grant limitations would have maybe prevented some of that outreach. But I, my hope is that what happens is that we really see the effects of even these small touches, these one-hour classes, um, these one-off art projects, and we see that impact, and we're really able to continue to multiply the program in that way. Hello everybody, my name is Aldo Gomez. I am the breakdance and fine arts instructor for BGC Prodigy over in Lacucci. I have been a Prodigy instructor for about over 10 years now. I started back in like 2008 and I've been with the program ever since working at different sites. It's never the same experience day to day, much less across different sites. So I've been lucky enough to see what it's like to teach at different communities and see them evolve as artists as well as into young professionals and eventually into productive members of the communities that they're a part of. The most important thing that Prodigy provides to these students is the knowledgeable instructors that they get. They're actually taking artists from their fields, professionals within their uh, masteries, and allowing them to see what it's like to actually learn from somebody who is in that field. Um, it provides a great sense of accomplishment when a child is able to learn something from somebody who is legitimately a part of that field. Some of the pieces that they've created, for example, are some of the Influential Person series where they did portraits uh, using the number square sequence. And essentially what they did is they broke up the drawing or the image of the person, they broke it down into little squares, and then painted that, uh, that person using that technique. Then we expanded on, you know, what is it that makes these people influential and what things that they could take from them incorporated into their lives and then from there create a bigger piece from that.
So what they did is they took like little things like family is important to them, food, school, uh, diversity, things of that nature, and they brought that together themselves to create essentially a plan, and then from there broke it down to several pieces to create the larger mural that you see behind me. Uh, incorporating technology into the class has been uh, really an eye-opening experience in that the children are actually able to see the technology as it works, how it works, and how it pertains to their art. Um, we just started a series where we're doing um, gobos and um, stencil work together, seeing as how they're essentially the same and made using the same techniques on the Glowforge. They're able to actually see it, what it takes to create something like that and them knowing that it is something that is used within the uh, art field, whether it's lighting or whether you're doing uh, mass art prints or something like that, they can now have that knowledge to use the technology to better their art and to be able to produce art in a manner that's both uh, cost effective and that would make sense for if they wanted to do this professionally later on. Uh, the biggest reward that I get is not necessarily during Prodigy, because Prodigy is a process to me. It is the process of helping a child develop not only their sense of artistry, but their, their social skills, their critical thinking, their communication. So the biggest reward for me is when I see them outside of Prodigy years later, and they're telling me, hey, you know, because of this that I learned, I, am, I was able to get a degree in this, or I am now dancing for this team, or I am able to do this with this group of people because of what I learned in Prodigy. And that to me is the biggest reward. My name is Charlotte Lewis and I'm the violin instructor for Prodigy. I've been involved in music my entire life in one way or another. Um, I think that I've been a part of music everywhere from singing in a youth choir to being in a youth symphony to being in professional symphonies as well. One of the challenges with working with kids is trying to make the technical things that take so many years to develop on an instrument like the violin and making it fun and making it a game. So even though it's challenging to try to make everything exciting and new and a little bit silly, it's also the most fun part of the challenge, I think. So the way I make my students feel more successful and more accomplished is accomplished in general is to celebrate the little things. It may be something as small as putting the bow away the correct time, the correct way, or putting their hand on the bow the correct way, or putting their fingers on the violin the correct way for the very first time. Those little things need to be celebrated. Even though they may seem small, even though it may not happen again for the rest of the day, it's the little things that we need to feel really accomplished about. We need to give credit where credit is due. That was something you couldn't do yesterday that you can do right now. Because of COVID-19, we've taken some of our violin classes virtually. They've actually gone online, and these group classes have all kinds of different sort of challenges than the unperson classes have because I can't reach through the camera and tune their violins or help them with a bow grip. I have to be able to explain it to them digitally. But even though that's been challenging, we found all kinds of fun and new ways to learn the instrument and to learn about music using the technology that we have now. And it's been very cool to have this little window into their um, their home lives. Um, I've met a lot of pets, <laughs> and I've, I've seen a lot of different toys and a lot of different pieces of artwork that they've done. It's been a great experience learning with them virtually together. Oh, so one of the big moments in teaching virtually is has definitely been seeing a routine built 
even though we are not in the room together. So even though they aren't looking across the room at other students and seeing how they're holding the instrument or how they're performing a piece, they're able to develop these habits despite that because they have these little windows into everyone else's world. They have been able to adapt to that. One of the challenges, for sure, is instruments <laughs> because I can't reach through the computer screen and, and help them. I've actually seen a student break a string on screen before. I've seen students do damage to the instrument and they had pure panic because they weren't sure what to do. Fortunately we've been able to organize it so that they can get it fixed with the help of a local business, but that has been the biggest challenge. Something that I could just reach out and fix if we were in person. Virtually, we've had some challenges. <laughs> Prodigy program is a phenomenal opportunity for students that I've taught both in person, virtual, and of course the students who are in the other aspect of the arts with like art and drums. All of these things to experience something for the first time that they might not have been able to experience before. Um, you know, several months ago these kids didn't know what a violin was or they didn't know what it sounded like, but now not only do they know how to identify one on a stage, but they also know the proper way to care for it, the proper way to hold it. They can relate with these people who are professional violinists because they have one too. My favorite thing about Prodigy is I got to learn a new instrument, which has now become my favorite instrument. Um, my favorite thing about music is taking the time to make each note sound beautiful and play it fully. And my, fa my biggest accomplishment with violin was probably that I've been able to learn all the notes and now I can find sheet music and learn to play it by myself.
favorite thing about Prodigy is learning all kinds of new things on the violin. Favorite thing about music? Um, music helps me feel better whenever I'm sad or when I'm happy. I feel like playing a new tune that's like happy how I'm feeling. I like music because I can hear someone playing something on the radio or seeing something and then I can be like, hey, I can play that too. My favorite thing about Prodigy is that um, we can learn new songs on violin. Um, and my favorite thing about music is that I like to um, play it when I'm uh, sad. Um, my favorite thing about music is that um, you can use it for all type of different occasions and um, it can make you feel happy. And um, my biggest accomplishment is learning um, a lot of new songs. I think the Prodigy students take a lot of what they learn from Prodigy into their day-to-day -day school life by remembering those little accomplishments. Like, wow, I got to hear a fantastic piece of music or wow, I accomplished something with a friend in a Prodigy class. If I can do that, then what is a math test? I can do this too. Or I was able to work with these people through music. Surely I can work with these people in other parts, like at recess at school or in classes or in projects. Why not? My favorite thing about Prodigy was how many new experiences it exposed me to. Like uh, the trip to Tallahassee was one big one. That was huge for me. I learned so many things on that trip and just, you know, connecting with so many different people from different backgrounds around my area. And um, it was really, really great experience. It, I mean, it just changed my life for the better, honestly. Like all the experiences, all the people, all the connections I made. And uh, I used it as part of my like resume for applying to university. And I got into USF with full presidential scholarship. And I accredit a lot of that to Prodigy and the experiences that they gave me. My hope for Prodigy in the future is that we expand and we reach out to as many students as possible to put these opportunities in their hands, things like the visual arts, things like music, and make them feel like just because they didn't understand it before doesn't mean that it isn't accessible to them. They can do it in their future and there's really nothing stopping them with the right guidance and with a fantastic program like Prodigy is becoming. instructor for the Boys and Girls Club of Tampa Bay Lacucci location. I am the performing arts instructor, uh, the music production instructor, and also the drumline instructor. I've been working for Prodigy for about four years. Um, it's really, really been a rewarding experience. Um, I've always worked with community arts and worked with kids, so it's, it's been something that's been really enjoyable. Um, the Prodigy program is, is, there's nothing like it out there. Um, where you can actually take industry professionals and bring them in to work with youth and cultivate them in the arts, but also teach life lessons and other things. COVID-19 really, really, uh, man, taught us some things. Um, it, it taught us uh, how uh, fragmented we are and how separated we are, but it also uh, taught us that we really long to be uh, together and that, that our interactions with each other are important. Uh, and, uh, you know, although uh, it made a lot of changes and created a lot of changes for people's lives and programs, um, you know, the Boys and Girls Club of Tampa Bay through the project program was able to keep moving along and keep moving forward and providing great programming uh, for the students and, um, you know, at the club. And so I think it was a, a refreshing um, outlook and refreshing change uh, from the social distancing uh, initiatives that were out and schools being closed and and, and all of the extracurricular stuff that uh, youth are normally involved in with sports and things like that, and still be able to do kind of a nurturing educational environment and also have a whole lot of fun. We did music production uh, where uh, we go in class and, and we uh, 
you know, create beats and, and, and lyrics and things like that to songs and raps and things. Um, we also were online doing uh, uh, We Muse uh, during the pandemic where we were virtually uh, instructing uh, kids how to use production equipment to create beats and create music and collaborate. Um, and then uh, we also, you know, kept a lot of different things moving um, with our programming. Um, we also, uh, you know, brought them into the club and created safe spaces, safe environments, but still allowed them to interact and still allowed them to create. You know, uh, the drum line was a, a new thing for us um, this year. Um, you know, I always, as an instructor, try and change things up. Um, you know, my rule of thumb has always been when working with kids that always plan twice as much. And so, um, as we're working on music production and we, you know, did some theater and some, some sketches and some short film stuff and things like that, you know, it really came to a, a point in time when I felt like, hey, we needed to kind of change some things up. Um, I do have a pretty long background uh, in, uh, you know, music and playing drums. I, I used to play, you know, in high school and junior high school, and marching band. I also was in the drum and corps. Uh, in the Air Force, so uh, bringing the drums out uh, was a really refreshing um, change for the kids um, at that time, and I think it was something that they needed. You should have seen their faces light up uh, when we first set them up and just kind of let them just kind of work out some things. Uh, I think they needed to work out, you know, hitting something and banging on something and, and that kind of thing, and I think in all good drum classes, there's a certain degree of that that you allow there's always these jam session type of things that go on, but then at some point you begin to sew in those life lessons of teamwork and, and everybody working together and everybody, you know, hitting each beat at the same time and each section doing their part. And so, you know, drums has an, an incredible amount of life lessons and transitional lessons that it can teach. And uh, man, I just, I just felt the energy of how it cultivated uh, what we were trying to do there at the Coochie and, and create a new element and new excitement. I try and encourage kids to look at every opportunity and everything that we do as an opportunity to grow and learn. Um, I encourage them that not only are there opportunities to go to college for playing football and baseball and sports and things like that, but also in production and in theater and, and in uh, you know uh, playing for a marching band or, or drum lines and other different things. That there's so many vast opportunities to forge your education and get scholarships and things like that if you work hard now and, and fortunately we've got a bunch of kids who love to work you know they want to come in and, and put the work in i think the the biggest uh surprise uh with our drum line this year was the girls i mean they were tenacious i mean these girls were in it they were mixing it up immediately um and they wanted to play everything man and just seeing that energy and that excitement and everything just really made me charged up and excited about just teaching them all the nuances. Uh, most of them have never played drums before, so it was a really, really uh, great to see uh, their energy and their interest just perk up uh, once we put the, the mallets and the sticks in their hands and the girls wild out. I've been a part of Prodigy for two years. My favorite class is drums for Prodigy. When I'm playing the drums and making me feel good about myself. Well, I like about playing drums. It's fun. My favorite drum was the snares. The thing I most like about playing the drums is that you can make your own beat. My favorite instrument is the bass drums. I feel like the girls can play better than the boys. <laughs> To the future Prodigy uh, student out there, the person who, who is really looking at um, 
getting involved, uh, what I would say to do for you is it expands your horizons. Um, that I think every bit of growth comes from creative energy that you have inside. That creative energy that you store up inside, that you let explode out into all different uh, kinds of interests. Whether or not you want to be a, a doctor or, or a pharmacist or, or a mailman or a police officer, it still has a degree of energy that kind of explodes from you. And Prodigy does a great job of cultivating that energy. You know, the most impressive thing about the kids uh, with the drum line was them going in and creating beats. Um, that, that although, uh, you know, they were interested in going in and kind of learning rudiments and sticking and things like that, they really just wanted to be creative and create their own beats. And they did a great job. You know, we, we, we created a number of different, uh, you know, uh, cadences and things like that for them to play. And they enjoyed it. They were excited to see what they could create and, and the great part about it was that drum lines you're creating but you're creating together. My name is Cassie Coleman. I am the club director for the Lewis Abraham Boys and Girls Club in La Coochie, Florida. Prodigy is an early prevention community program designed to improve the life chances of at-risk students grades first through 12. Lewis Abraham Boys and Girls Club provide a safe arena where they learn communication problem-solving, and conflict resolution skills. These skills are taught through the visual and performing arts program called Prodigy. Prodigy is a very intricate and important part of our daily program at Lewis Abraham Boys and Girls Club. Our members are engaged in music and art. At the present time, they're actively participating in drama, violin, and art classes. Prodigy allows us to offer opportunities and experiences for our members outside of their day-to-day -day activities at school and in their community. It also allows them to showcase their talents as well as advocate for the Prodigy program in their community and our state's capital. Prodigy has made a tremendous impact on our members. They have developed a sense of pride in their accomplishments and more confidence and willing to share them with others. My name is Jaquela, I can't stop, won't stop. My name is Charlotte Lewis, and I can't stop, won't stop. Hi, I'm Megan Butler, and I can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. My name is Zoe, and I can't stop, won't stop. My name is Aldo Gomez, and I can't stop, won't stop. My name is Jacob, and I can't stop, and won't stop. My name is Jahire, and I can't stop, won't stop. Hi, I'm Emiliano Gonzalez. I can't stop, won't stop. Hi, I'm Amaya Medina, and I can't stop, won't stop. I'm Daisha Mitchell, and I can't stop, won't stop.